It continues. We'll talk more about it coming up in a couple minutes. Good to see you then. Next here tonight, we are hearing from an expert about the new immunization for RSV. It's a respiratory virus that spreads easily and can be very dangerous for infants. ABC Action News reporter Eric Waxler today explaining why doctors say babies should be given the vaccine. It's nap time at Tampa's College Hill Kojic Preschool. And for more than 20 years, director Tony Boyd has done her best to make sure sickness doesn't spread from kid to kid. We try as best we can to isolate children if they're showing symptoms of something. She also talks with parents about the latest recommendations on vaccines. Making sure that they understand what's out there because a lot of times they go to work, go home, they don't see the news and, and right. things that are going on. And the latest news involves the CDC's approval of an immunization to protect infants from a respiratory virus known as RSV. It's recommended for all children under eight months old. There's estimated 100 to 300 deaths every year in children five years and younger from RSV. Um, it's, a, it's a very common respiratory illness, but that doesn't mean that it won't be severe, and there are severe cases. In some of those severe cases, children can end up in the hospital. The CDC says the one-dose shot is meant to keep that from happening. And while the COVID vaccine was an emergency vaccine, the RSV shot has been in the works for years. And these trials take a long time to finally go through and get approved. So in that way, it is a little bit different. Um, I still recommend everyone get the COVID vaccine, and I do recommend um, everyone under age eight months to get this vaccine as well. RSV is more prevalent in the fall and spring. Symptoms include coughing, fever, runny nose, and sneezing. Even though COVID did, affect children. This one specifically can and there's so many things in this environment and like I said allergies and simple colds can turn into a full-blown some sort of infection. Experts say as many as 80,000 children under the age of five are hospitalized with RSV every year. The new shot will be part of the federally funded vaccine for children program. That means it will be free for kids on Medicaid or those under and uninsured. The shots are expected to be widely available by the fall. In Tampa, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News. And one big question parents might have after seeing this, will child care centers eventually require the RSV vaccine? Well, bottom line, we're told it's just too soon to know if RSV will be added to that required list. We move next here. To